Hello and welcome to my channel for another video. This time around, we'll take a look at Endeavor OS. This Arch-based distro has been a rising star on DistroWatch for some time with growing interest in the Linux community. I'll demonstrate installing the most recent EOS and try to bend it to our will with BTRFS, GNOME Desktop, ZRAM plus Hibernation, and a Pipewire upgrade. Then I'll do a quick review. So let's get started. Here we've got the UFI virtual machine booted. Let's change the resolution to 1080p. That looks a lot better. Next, we'll update the mirrors. And we're in the United States and we'd like to include the HTTPS protocol and five as the maximum number of mirrors and we'll click OK. Now it's ready in the mirrors. And hopefully uh, we'll get the top five speed rated mirrors uh, from this. Should happen momentarily. Okay, and there they are. Looks pretty good, so we'll save it to the mirror list. And now we're ready to start the installer, online in this case. And we're American English. Calamares is uh, the latest release. Looks good, next. It's found our time zone, very nice. Next. Uh, the keyboard layout looks good, next. Let's do the manual partitioning. Next. And new partition table will of course be GPT since it's a UFI machine. First, we'll create the EFI boot partition. 300 megabytes of type FAT32. Mount point will be boot EFI. Flags will be boot. Okay. Next, the hibernation partition. My suggestion is physical RAM plus one Gibby byte. So let's do nine Gibby bytes here. Type Linux swap. Flags a swap. Okay. Finally, let's do the BTRFS root partition. File system, BTRFS, mount point will be root, and flags will be root. Okay. Next, we'll select on top of the base, we want GNOME and we want printing support. So let's just collect next. My name is Steven, and we'll call this computer EOS 2104. We'll choose our password, enter it again, and click Next. This is looking very good. So let's go ahead with the install. Yes, we'd like to install now. Okay. Now it runs through downloading packages, configuring, and installation. This will take quite some time. So I will be back when it's done. All right, and we're done. So Calamares could gray out the back and next buttons to help avoid confusion, just uh, my feedback. Let's restart this machine. Okay, let it come back up again, the group grub bootloader rather, and we should see GDM shortly. And there it is, let's log in. And our password. And uh, 
There we go. Gnome 40 in all its glory. So, first things first. Let's uh, go into settings. And uh, look for displays. And the resolution, let's make it back to 1080p. Refresh rate should be 60 hertz. And apply those settings. That looks a lot better. And uh, next, let us uh, get rid of the welcome screen or app rather, and launch tweaks. Yes, extensions have moved. Let's uh, switch over to dark mode. Um, for applications, let's select Arc Dark. And for the icons, let us select Arc-X-D. Good, that's taken care of. Next. Let us launch the terminal. Let's increase that font size for you guys. Make it more legible for this video. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. So, step one. Yay for checking for any updates. Ah, looks like we've got Firefox to update, so let's go ahead with that. Great. Next step, let us take a look at the file system table. And for the hibernation or swap partition, let's set the priority uh, for swap to be 10. So pry equals 10. Let's save that file because we'll be installing ZRAM later at a priority of 100. So next, let us install with yay dash capital S ZRAMD and let it get going. It's downloaded, it's downloading rather uh, needed packages. And uh, let's let it build and install. And it's done. So let's enable the service. sudo systemctl enable now please zramd.service. Hit enter. And that's it. So let's take a look at our swap situation. Swap on dash s. And currently our swap or hibernation partition is in priority minus two will be 10 after reboot, and ZRAM is priority 100. Fantastic, just the way we wanted. Let's install Pipewire, Pipewire-Alsa, and Pipewire-Pulse, and Pipewire-Jack, as well as xdg-desktop-portal-gtk and hit enter. Yes, we'd like to replace Pulse Audio. And let's proceed with the installation and check the status of the Pulse Audio server, PACTL. And it looks like uh, we've got everything running. Fantastic, Pulse Audio is running. Let's check the BTRFS subvolume list. Uh, looks like Calamari's installed at, at home, at cache, at log. Uh, Subvolumes, perfect. That's just the way I like it. So next, let's install TimeShift and TimeShift-AutoSnap so that we get snapshots created with every upgrade. So we'll go ahead and uh, build those two packages and install them shouldn't take too long. It's going pretty smoothly.
It's a pretty fast machine, so it shouldn't take too much longer. Almost done. And we're done. So let us go ahead and launch time shift. We enter our sudo password. VTRFS is the snapshot type since that's the file system. Next, the location VDA3 is good. The defaults for the snapshot levels looks good. Uh, Q groups are enabled and I, we don't include home uh, for this exercise. Next. And we're done. So let's create our first snapshot. And that's all there is to it. All right. Well, we've got our Arch GNOME installation done very quickly. Um, we've got lots of software already installed, um, and now we can install additional software and uh, have our workstation set up. So, um, I think uh, Endeavor OS is installed, and we've got uh, our customizations uh, included as well. So, The latest release of Endeavor OS provides a low bar of entry to the world of Arch while keeping everything close to vanilla. They do maintain their own repositories separate from Arch, but it's mostly for the configuration utilities. It's easy to see why Endeavor OS is a rising star on DistroWatch, and I give it two thumbs up for a beginner-friendly Arch-based distro. Please leave comments like and subscribe. See you next time.